Okay, so let's find three numbers in arithmetic regression, such that the square of the first added to the product of the other two gives 16. And this problem, I'm going to use variables x and y, but let me write down for you. So I'm going to say x is the first term. By the way, you can use different letters. I'm not saying you can't. x plus y, where y is a common difference, is the second term. And the third term would be x plus 2y. Right, first, second, third term. Um, x is a1, y is a common difference. Now let, let's, let's find out what they want. So there's an arithmetic progression, I wrote that down. It says such that the square of the first, x squared, the square of the first added to the product of the other two. Well, that's going to be x plus y times x plus 2y gives 16. And the square of the second, well, that's x plus y, right? The square of the second added to the product of the other two. Well, the other two would be x x plus 2y gives 14. All right, so I think I, I have something I can work with now. Now, before I do that, you know, certainly if you're struggling with this, I would recommend were you able to get that, all right? So I want to point out what I mean by that. Were you able to get what they said? And certainly, you know, I, I, I realize they have, well, they wrote it down a little differently than I did, but that doesn't matter. They wrote it down a little differently. So I'm going to say what they did was they said a2 was x, and then they did some like symmetry over here. So I'm, I'm comfortable that I, if I have to go to that, I'll do that. But I want to work with what I have. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of square it out. All right, so, so what do you get over here? You get x squared. Whoops. Plus, I'm doing this first equation, by the way. You get x squared. And then what do you get? 2xy. Right, x squared, 2xy, xy, so 3xy, and then you get 2y squared. And what does that equal? 16. I'm going to simplify a little bit further. That's x squared plus 3xy plus 2y squared is equal to 16. Now let's go through it again. x squared, and you get x squared, 3xy. 2y squared, looking pretty good. Whoops, 2x squared, sorry about that. Let's do the second equation. I'm going to erase this up here now. And I'm going to erase this over here. I don't need it anymore. I did it. Let's do that second equation. What are you going to get over there? Well, I'm going to write down, but I'm going to certainly erase my chicken scratch. So x squared, whoops. Again, we're doing this one now. x squared plus 2xy plus y squared plus x squared plus 2xy is equal to 14. And I can write that down. What do you get? 2x squared. That was convenient. 4xy. And then what do you get over there? Plus y squared, right? And that equals what? Uh, 14. All right, I'm going to start to erase. Before I do, I want to make sure I did that right. x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. x squared plus 2xy. 2x squared. 4xy plus y squared is 14. I, I feel comfortable about that. So I'm going to erase this now. I'm done with that. And I'm done with this. Now, I hope you realize I'm, I'm looking for x and y. And I got two equations, two unknowns, and x and y. Then the question is, how are you going to do that? Well, you know what? I got to do something. And I'm looking at these two equations. And what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to do a subtraction. So I'm going to take the first equation and subtract the second equation. And what would you get? Well, let's take a look at that. You would get 2x squared minus 2x squared. They disappear. 3xy minus 4xy is minus xy. And then 2, uh, I'm sorry, 2y squared minus y squared is just y squared. And then what do you get over there? 16 minus 14 is 2. All right? So that, that wasn't too bad. I'll raise this over here. 
I'm going to check it again, though. And 2x squared minus 2x squared is nothing. 3xy minus 4xy is minus xy. 2y squared minus y squared is 1y squared. 16 minus, that eh, looks pretty simple. And I'm going to solve this thing for x. And you may wonder why I'm doing that. I'm doing that because I want to see if I can make a substitution. So you would get y squared minus 2 equals xy, or y squared minus 2 over y would equal x. Then what am I going to do? Well, I need to do something. And what I'm going to do is make a substitution now. I'm going to erase this over here, and I'll get an equation of one unknown. I'm going to erase this over here, and I'll get an equation of one unknown. Now, what equation would you like to select? That's entirely up to you, by the way. But I'm going to select, let's see what I'm going to select here. I'm looking at it. I don't know, I'm going to select the second equation. All right? Let me put a circle on that. And by the way, this is important. That's an important fact over there. I'm going to plug it in. And what do you get? 2x squared. Let's write that down. That's going to be y squared minus 2 over y squared plus 4x, which is y squared minus 2 over y times y plus y squared is equal to 14. All right. Well, I got some work to do. And doing that work, uh, let's see what you're going to come up with over here. Well, I got something pretty easy. This cancels off. And I got some more work to do. Let me put this down. So you can get 2 y4 minus 4y squared plus 4 over y squared plus 4 y squared minus 8 plus y squared equals 14. All right, I'm running out of room, and i got to keep going, and I'll, I'll do that. And the next thing I'm going to do is probably just simplify a tiny, tiny little bit. And I get 2 y4 minus 4 y squared plus 4 over y squared, and let me just see if I can do that. And that's going to be what? 5y squared, and then I'm going to take that 8 and add it to 14, adding 8 to both sides, you would get 22. All right? Let me keep going through it. I'm going to multiply both sides by y squared now and simplify. And you're going to get 2y4 minus 8 y squared plus 8 plus 5y4 equals 22y squared. Well, things are kind of coming together here, and I'm going to write this down now. So 7y4. Let's see, what do you get there? Minus 30 y squared plus 8 equals 0. All right. Got to do some arithmetic here, don't I? Kind of looking at it. Not much choice on it, is there? 7 y squared y squared, 0, I'm going to say 4 and 2, kind of nasty, right? 7 y squared times y squared, 7 y 4, get 28, yeah, let's put their minus minus down now. So I got really two really nice answers now, and let me write that down for you. So y could be plus or minus 2. The y could also be plus or minus 
This is a more difficult one, by the way, but this was easy, plus or minus two. And that would be what? Uh, let's see, root two over root seven. So let me write that down. Let me make sure that works. If you square that, what would you get? You get two sevens. Yeah, it works out beautifully, all right? So, I, you know, I, I, got the, I got the Y. Now, someone says, how could you get the X, right? By the way, I'm going to start to erase a lot of work now, work that I no longer need. I'm going to erase this business over here. It, it was a process, though. I'm going to erase this business over here. I don't really need it anymore. And I'm going to erase this, all this business over here. By the way, when I say erase something, it, it could be, you know, there could be, uh, I made a, made a mistake, but I got an answer key. I'm going to look at my answer key, all right? So I, I want to go back to my work. I'm not, I'm not looking at their work now, but I will look at their answer, by the way, all right? So I want to say, you know, if y is 2, I want to do that one first. What would x be? Well, I go over here to do it, all right? And I, I think it's pretty easy to plug in. You'd get 4 minus 2 on top, which is 2, divided by 2 is 1. So I know that sequence then. What's going to be 1, the next number would be 3, and the next number, you know, I'm going up by 2, would be 5. All right, that was easy. Let me do y equals minus 2. Well, if you did that, you get 4 minus 2 on top, which is 2. 2 divided by minus 2 is minus 1. So you get x equals minus 1. Let me write that sequence down. What's that sequence going to be? Minus 1. Let's see, minus 3. Minus 5. All right? I want to go to the key. I want to point out we have these answers written for you. So what answers do we have? Uh, let's see, consider an and we get uh, 1, 3, 5, minus 5, minus 3, minus 1. Let me just make sure I got those written down. 1, 3, 5, minus 5, minus 3, minus 1. Yeah, we have both of these. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let me make sure I answered that question. Square the second in it. Yeah, find three numbers. By the way, someone says, why do you put them in different order? When I put an answer down, I try to write them in proper order. All right. I try to write them in proper order. All right. Let me go to the next one. And I know it's difficult, but someone says, do you need to really go there? Yeah, I need to answer the question. But I'm kind of done with this, right? I'm kind of done with that. Now, the, the next thing I'm going to write down is I'm going to write down y equals. And what does y equal? It's the root of two sevens. This is more difficult. That's why I saved it for, for, for last. So I'll write it down. What would you get on top? Well, x will equal. And what do you get there? When you, when you, let's see if you do that. It's not that bad to do. You would get two sevens. Minus 2 over y, which is root of 2 sevens. Eh, kind of nasty looking, isn't it? But i got to do the work. I'll leave the other one as an exercise for you to do it yourself. All right, so what do you get in top? Well, I'm going to multiply top and bottom. Let's take a look. By 7. You can get 2 minus 14. I'm multiplying top and bottom by 7. And the bottom would be 7. Let me write this down. It's really root 2 over root 7. So you can put the root 7 over here. And what do you get there? It's, it's complicated, though, isn't it? And 2 minus 14 is minus 12. And then I get 7, root 2, and I get a root 7 over here. I can multiply top and bottom by root 2. There's a point to this, by the way. And what are you going to get? Well, you're going to get x equals now. Let's see. Root 2 times root 2 is 2, and 2 into minus 12 is minus 6. And then what are you going to get? Root 14 over 7. All right? Now, by the way, I'm going to simplify this too. This is root 2 over root 7. And what would I get over there? Root 14 over 7. All right, so I'm going to write down what my x is. My x is minus 6, root 14, 
over seven. That's the first term, by the way. And then what I do, I just add y onto it. And what's that gonna be? And y is root 14 over seven. It's gonna be minus five root 14 over seven. Add another one on, what do you get? Minus four root 14 over seven. Let me just look at my clock because I really have to get rushed here. Yeah, I got to get going. I won't have a chance to do the other one, but uh, I'll get there. And I want to see if I've got these written down. And uh, I want to point out I have this one written over here. I have this one written over here. And I have this one written over here. As an exercise, you should do this. By the way, I also did a graph of my system. And you clearly see four points of intersection. Thank you.